Today I'll be reviewing Season 3 of The Devil is a Part-Timer. For some reason, this season was called Season 2 of the second series, which is really confusing. So I'm just calling it Season 3. It's sad to see the fall from grace that this series had. So many people were excited for Season 2, and now, no one cares about Season 3. People are very frustrated by the change in animation style, and the anime series now being a wholesome family anime series about taking care of a kid. Usually I don't review anime series that no one cares about anymore. But considering I already watched the first two seasons of the series, I decided to review the season as well. In this season, things appear to be peaceful and quiet at first, but soon, demons start appearing in the human world and start causing chaos and destruction. Mao and Emmy get stuck trying to stop these demons. Emmy begins to wonder, just what is she doing? Being friendly with Mao? After all, he is their enemy. Soon there is an evil plan being done to make Mao and Emmy fight against each other once again. So to my surprise, this season was actually much better than season 2. I was annoyed with season 2 because it was all about Emmy and Mao taking care of a kid. And I did not watch the series in the first place for that. I watched it for funny comedic scenes involving Mao at his job. And for the plot. This season actually kept those wholesome family scenes to a minimum, which was great. Instead, this anime series was now focusing on the plot. I'm shocked. This entire season actually focused on the plot. And there were barely any slice of life scenes. This season actually had my interest. It was intriguing to see the villains try to cause another fight between the humans and demons. It's like, what will Emmy do now? Will she really fight against Mao and the other demons? It was great seeing that inner conflict that Emmy had. She knows now that demons aren't really that bad. Can she really fight against them? I couldn't wait to see how Mao and Emmy would avoid fighting each other when there's so much tension between demons and the humans. The resolution to the struggle certainly was exciting. The fights were actually good in the season because it was pretty much a war being fought. Now this is what I'm watching the series for. It's too bad it took until season 3 to show great fight scenes. I still know what they're thinking with that wholesome family vibe in season 2. The major mystery is about Emmy's dad finally got answered in the season and it led to a memorable reunion between Emmy and her dad. This season really did feel like a great way to end the series. The only important new character in the season that got a lot of screen time was Alice Ramis' little sister. In case you forgot, Alice Ramis was the kid that Mao and Emmy were taking care of in season 2. Her little sister was an entertaining character. She was very energetic and positive. She made the anime series feel livelier and more entertaining. The opening and ending song for the season were forgettable. The music throughout the season was pretty good. The image style to be the same as it was in season 2, which I'm still not a big fan of, but you eventually get used to it. The animation looked good during the fight scenes. This season was actually pretty good. It had great plot development and definitely more action than season 2. It's too bad most people stop caring about the series now. They won't get to see the improvement it had in this season. I give this season a 7 out of 10.